Well, cat is out of the bag. Xiaomi went up more than 10.7% from yesterday, more than 13% from the point I brought up the pattern. Do you watch the video? Well, if you haven't, please head to that video right now because a lot of Hong Kong stocks, a lot of Hong Kong tech stocks are showing this pattern right now. Uh, what was the news about? Xiaomi uh, is going to launch its first EV car, SU7, on the 28th of March. And let's see how Xiaomi is going to fare in this very, very crowded EV market in China. Well, today, what i like to point out is another stock that shows the same pattern as what I point out in Xiaomi. And guess what yes byd so let's head to byd and check the technical point and what are the key levels you need to take note of now if you like this video if you like the content remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will be informed the first thing that i launch a video and also do subscribe to this uh, telegram channel because this is the place that i update my trades Let's talk about the first reason why looking at BYD because a lot of Hong Kong stocks made new low. That means that, you know, they made a low during COVID period. So this was uh, not COVID period, but you know, BYD never, never moved lower than COVID period. But uh, during 2021, during 2022, these are the low. And recently, a lot of Hong Kong stocks, a lot of Hong Kong tech stocks make a new low versus the previous low. But BYD is one of those companies that didn't. So it's still very much supported right now on this trend line here. So that's the first reason why I look at BYD. Now, the second reason, of course, that if you I switch that in into a line chart and put that into like day chart then I do see the very familiar pattern that I brought up in Xiaomi and that's the inverted head and shoulder and today it just broke through that neckline so we have price moving higher but what's important is I want to bring up that today the price movement here today also moves above what I call a previous support right that was broken so you see that this was that previous support and in fact that it was broken became a resistance and today it unbreak that support that was broken meaning that on the duration of forming this inverted head and shoulder pattern here so that's the inverted head and shoulder pattern here at the same time today this price movement also broke through a previous low that is right now acting as a resistance. So it was a support and right now acting as a resistance, right? So you can see that previous support that became a resistance, a supply uh, zone here, right now has been unbroken. Okay, so that's the second thing of why I'm pointing out about BYD. Now, the third thing would be a very important thing, right? So in terms of the whole trend, so in order to know that if the trend is fully reversing, because we can see that right now the trend is heading lower, to know that this trend is going to reverse and it's going to head up, there's one very important price level and this as that price level here. So the price is around 218. You just round up a little bit. That's 220. BYD will need to close above 220. All right, so this is the key level here, right? So in terms of the movement, it's a very clear price movement here for BYD, meaning that based on today, if it's going to close like this, then it will be closing above a key resistance level, and that's $200. And if price price ever comes back into this zone here, this will be a support zone. And if ever goes up here, so this will be a resistance zone. And if the resistance zone is broken, it's going to just move higher. So key level, key zone here will be this one here, which is around 218 to 220. And of course, today it has broken above a key level at $200 already. All right, let's talk about the short-term price movement here. BYD is going to report its earning on the 27th of March. Um, perhaps, you know, you see this as a very rocky event or volatile event. You don't want to be vested in BYD over the long term. Then you might want to consider some short-term instruments. And one of the short-term instruments would be DLCs. This is Society General website on DLCs. Uh, note that trading into any structured products or any derivative instruments is high risk. Do understand the risk of trading into this instrument here. So to select the DLCs of the BYD, just click on all underlines and scroll down to click on BYD. Then click search. 
So there are two types of DLCs. Uh, one will be the daily long DLC. The other one is the daily short DLCs. Uh, if you are bullish, then you choose the daily long DLCs. If you are bearish, you choose the daily short DLCs. The minimum lot size for BYD is 500 shares. That means that if you were to buy one lot, you have to buy in 500 shares, block of 500 shares. So that is the reason why some traders might want to look into DLCs because then the minimum lot size for DLCs is 100 units. So that means that if you want to participate in BYD movement, you do not need to trade like 500 shares for each time. You can only do like 100 units. Of course, trading into DLCs and any other leverage instruments uh, will be high risk to evaluate whether the instrument is suitable for you. I presented key levels of BYD and these levels are useful for you to take reference in your trading and if you like me to discuss any other talks do let me know and leave that in the comment section i will be happy to discuss them